everybody and welcome to Art Club. Today we're going to be making letter art using masking tape. Um, so first of all you need to think about which letter you're going to do. You might like to do the initial of your first name, so for me that's an E, um, or you might want to do it for somebody else. Um, so first of all you need to think about what letter you're going to be making. An E is nice and easy because a capital E is just made up of straight lines. If your name or your letter has curved shapes within it, you'll need to think carefully about how to make those curved shapes using the masking tape. So I'm going to get going to make my E. I'm going to be cutting pieces of masking tape and sticking them on our piece of card. We want our letter to be quite in the middle of our piece of paper and you don't want to press the tape down too hard because you're going to need to peel it off um, at a point later So I'm sticking those down, just pressing them on lightly. They're going to mask off the paint when we start to add paint to our piece of paper. I'm just pressing those on lightly, making sure that the edges are stuck down. And I'm just using my finger to rub along the edge. Okay, so now I've got my capital E. At this point, if you would like to make a border on your art, um, you could also use the masking tape to border off the edge. That's what I'm gonna do now. to do is get my watercolour paints and I'm going to be trying to make quite a um, dark colour because when I peel off the tape I'm going to be left with white so if I painted a really pale colour it would be hard to see the letter and I am going to be doing uh, a green so I'm getting my paintbrush and coming in for my green and I'm going to be mixing a colour today. So I'm going to be using this empty space here. At home, if you have an egg cup or um, like a plastic plate or something like that, anything plastic that's not precious, um, and you can mix the colours on there. So I've got that green now. I'm going to be adding in um, a bit of yellow into my green. Here. Okay, so I quite like this colour that I've made here. And what I'm going to be doing is applying it onto my paper and I can go all the way up to where the masking tape is stuck because the masking tape is going to protect the paper. And then when we peel the tape off, I will be left with an E and you will be left with whatever letter you've done. So I'm using quite a thick brush here because I need to cover a lot of the area and I'm not being very, very precise because I can go all the way over the edges and it doesn't matter because of my tape. Next, I need to let that dry.
Okay, so now is a really satisfying bit where we get to peel off the masking tape and hopefully we're left with some lovely white lines from where the tape has been and it has blocked out the paint. So I'm just going to check that my page is really dry just using clean fingertips and it is, that's really important because if the paint is even slightly damp we'll end up um, smudging the lines. So let's start up here and this is a really gentle process okay so you have to keep hold of your card and pull the tape to be really really gentle as we go because we don't want to tear the paper okay so starting to see my border here coming up to the top same thing really gentle as we pull the tape you don't want to tear the paper you might tear it a little bit that doesn't matter too much. Okay. a little bit of a tear down there at the bottom where the masking paper has taken the paper masking tape has taken the paper with it so I'm just going to glue that down in a moment but now I need to come up here to my E extra careful with this bit I'm just doing it little by little Okay. Look at these lovely clean crisp lines coming through. Right, okay. So my E is gonna look backwards to you guys. Let me flip it around. No, it's the right way around. Okay. So I'm just gonna get some glue to tape down this top tear here. You might end up with something like that on yours. You might be able to glue it down or you might just be able to ignore it. So. Okay, got my glue. So I'm just gonna put a bit of glue on that top bit there. Right, so next we are going to be using your pen to um, go around the edges of the letter and we can put a pattern within the letter as well if we want. So I am going to be using my pen and I'm just going to go around the outside. Really carefully trying to stick to the edge. So I've gone around the edge of my E now and if I want to I can add a little pattern inside of it. So you might like to do stripes or spots or little leaves or flowers or whatever you want to do. You could fill it with um, pictures using your pen, um, whatever you feel like doing. I am going to be doing some leaves. So I'm going to start from one of the corners 
and I'm going to do some lines that come out and make the leaf shape. So I've now filled my E with lots of little leaves and I really like that just the way it is. I don't want to add too much more. So you stop whenever you feel like you've got it the way you want it to be. And then you can stick it up maybe in your bedroom or on the fridge or um, if you've done it with somebody else's initials on it, you could give it to them as a present. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed making today's art club piece. And we're going to be using this technique of using masking tape to um, uh, mask off sections of colour lots of other times. Bye.